such a short one, but how's it going? I just want to show you guys a way of cheesing with uh, what I call Probius. So, show you guys how to do it. I'm actually facing a fellow Protoss, which is the best race to race matchup to uh, to do this build. So I'm making a pylon right now, and I'm sending my pri probe over to the opponent's base, Milkman. Milkman is making a pylon, going into gateway. So he's kind of doing this normal build. I'm making a um, <clears throat> so here as I'm sending my probe over to go scout, and he's making his gateway. Once I get a pylon and, you know, once it starts going up somewhere around, you know, 40 seconds, I typically do it around 40 seconds. Um, what I'll do is I'll make a gas. Should happen right now. And once you get your gas, what I like to do is I like to send my minerals over to this side to the and while I do that I hit the C button when I do that so what the C button does when you select all probes is if there's any probes with mineral line with minerals in their in their mouth they, um, they pretty much just uh, transfer it over to the Nexus as they uh, as they go to the mineral so you just you know hit that C button and then right click again and then you'll what you'll do is <clears throat> you'll get all the minerals that you can into your nexus you ball up and then you right click to this gas now sometimes they're they're not lined up so what you do is you click it one more time to the mineral in the back and then and then right click to the gas real quick and that'll line them up so now they're lined up <clears throat> so now that they're all lined up you select them all and you right click on a mineral you have to right click on a mineral if you right click on the ground it's just spread out so right now I'm sending them off canceling the gas the gas is going to give me 57 uh, resources back of minerals which is going to go again right back into the uh, probe production the pylon right here allows me to continue my probe production if I didn't have a pylon then obviously I can't make more probes which would make it an all-in versus a progressive uh, you know, opportunistic build to the late game you know um, so that's where I use my chrono boost the chrono boost goes into the follow-up which means you'll get more probes here this is what you want is more probes in this area because even if when you come here and trade even if you trade a really good fight and you're equal here well then when you come back here and you got like four or five probes here then you're already way ahead uh, than the opponent he might have a gateway but if he doesn't have any probes I mean you're way producing him and that's gonna ball up at the end so that's what you're trying to go for for this build so right now I'm sending all the probes <coughs> all the probes are right here they're going over to his base uh, now remember I sent the probe in the beginning that probe is coming in to it to the base looks like a cannon rush but <clears throat> what you're doing is you're attacking them at least this is something I'm trying to do a little more is I'm attacking them and I'm just letting them know that I'm just one probe you know I'm not trying to make them feel very uh, uh, insecure about this probe so I want to zap them when you're zapping them you're you're forcing his um, what is it? Is it his announcer his alert to go off going you're under attack you're being under attack uh, then he comes back he's a, just a probe right so there's no threat there no threat just a lot of false alarms going on right now you're being under attack false alarm it's just a probe so that's what you're doing then you go over here right your other one is coming in 
and you switch. You let this one go out and this one go in and you go back in so you can maximize the probe and then you come inside and just hit that attack. I always like to hit the attack and then spread, try to spread the probe a little bit, not with the mineral trick, but don't do it too quick. Because when you spread out like this, the only problem that you have is that there's like a couple probes here in the middle that aren't attacking. And you want to have like the most attacking right away. So you kind of want to, you kind of want to spread them like really quick, like a little chunk over to this side and hit attack so that everybody's getting a good amount of attack. Because the longer he doesn't notice, the more damage you're causing before he can come back and say, oh, you know what, I'm going to attack you. But then again, you know, remember, you're still making probes at home. I'm at four probes right now. Um, 127. Actually, I stopped probes. That was my predicament. I could have actually done more probes. Um, the fact that I forgot because I was doing this attack. But next time, I'll just remember. But yeah, you see these three? They're not doing any attack. That's the one thing you got to worry about this attack. Micro. Maximum damage is the key. Now, in his case, um, many errors. He made many errors in the beginning kind of like panic and the panic gave me more more um, more hits and then of course right you recall home with the damaged ones and you meet them up with your fellow new probes he's got no probes maybe one somewhere okay right there in the middle of the map <laughs> in this case I have now you know additional probes with my my warriors. The next thing I gotta worry about is what? We saw a gateway. We can get some suicidal tendencies over here from and get kamikazes with these zealots. So we gotta make sure we're protecting ourselves from from these zealots. So we're getting a forge, we're using all the resource. I don't wanna get a gateway because um, you know if I get a gateway then I can only get zealots if you have more than one. Uh, I prefer to just play it safe. I got a lot of resources. Let's just play it safe. Get a forge, pylon, cannon, and smooth sailing, you know. Notice how I send my probe outside the pylon? That's because I'm ready to do some type of outside expansion. Whenever I wall up, I always have some probe somewhere in the map. Normally in the corners. Into the darkness. He will not be found. We got a cannon going up. This Elon is not going to kill any of these in time. He could try. But he's not going to. Now, we got uh, seven probes here. And we're at 15 with two gas. 16 now. So there's a big difference right now in, in, our, in our production. So now, pretty much what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going into um, like a Stargate play. But I'm getting my Sabinetta score right away. I have my probe right here. This probe, I gotta get an expansion. Yeah, so the, the way I do this is I don't really use this as a main base. This is more of a mining base. Oh shoot, talk about um, these aren't these are just uh, mining bases, and uh, this is my real base right here. If he does decide to go really aggressive and go for like some type of a three gate proxy, three gate warp gate. Uh, what up Falcon Paladin, thank you so much for the raid, I really appreciate it, thank you so much, we're just going over a quick replay, uh, thank you so, Samicron, Samicron, thank you so much for the follow my friend, much love, so, I use this as just a micro, um, a mining base, that's about it, I get this because I have to, my real base will be here, therefore, you know, if he tries to do an all-in or a base race, um, he's going to think he's doing a real base race when in reality I have another base somewhere else in the map. So it, it kind of really does help me in that 
especially after what we just went through. Um, saturate my my base right here. Now in this one, since I was ahead, I wanted to make sure I'm still ahead by killing them, killing some probes with some oracles, especially since I'm transitioning into Tempest and uh, into a mothership. So during this time with the fleet beacon, I'm coming over here and just seeing if I can wipe down some some resources, some probes. Always be ready. When you're in a PvP match and you're doing some cheesy stuff and you do cannons or anything in that sort, make sure you get a cannon in your mineral line because that's the one thing a Protoss is comfortable in doing to try to get his, his lead or get catch back up is get an Oracle. Now I'm going fast mothership and tempest. Can't neglect the mothership. Gotta make them. So this is gonna abuse the uh, the edges. Protoss is gonna want to expand, of course, right? We're expanding here. This is where we abuse it in this area. If he's get some more mining time. Notice that he's not on gases, that's very big. I'm on four gases. I look like I'm on one base. And uh, the reason why this works is because the way I started the match made it look like this makes sense. Well, you know, he did send probes at me, and, you know, I don't think he should be big either. Um, so they start hesitating on expanding, looking for map, looking for things in the map till a little bit later. So he's just barely scouting. Saw the Tempest, the Mothership, two bases. It was, yeah, it was over. GG.